What's going on guys? Welcome back to Titanfall 2 on Black Tide TV. In this video, we're getting you prepared for sniping in Titanfall 2 as the sniping isn't what it really seems. This is an EA property and although it's not as apparent as battlefield sniping the sniping in this game does have bullet drop it does have bullet travel time and it's fairly difficult if i do say so myself switching back and forth between call of duty during the pre-alpha tech test which is the gameplay that you're seeing today i kind of got good at sniping at some points and then i lost my skill at sniping because i'd go back into call of duty where sniping is as easy as i don't even know what but when I came back to this game at the beginning of this round, I was doing pretty bad with my sniping. I wasn't hitting a lot of shots. Towards the end of the video, you're going to start to see the gameplay pick up a little bit. And I'm going to start hitting some actual shots a little bit better. Because I'm going to get the feel for the sniping back again. At the beginning, I hit a nice little collat there. But apart from that, the gameplay is pretty... I don't know, I call it subpar, I guess, for the most part. But towards the end it'll get better but that's just the sniping in this game you can't really expect to do amazing because it's so hard the sniping in this game is very difficult it's more battlefield sniping than it is call of duty sniping which is strange because this is respawn entertainment who originally worked on and who were originally were infinity war who worked on call of duty so it's weird that they've taken such a sharp turn with sniping the sniping in this game is pretty difficult for a couple of reasons. I've already mentioned a couple of them. The first reason being bullet drop. So actually, after a certain distance, your bullets will start to fall out of the sky. This is similar as in Battlefield. Your bullets will fall out of the sky, but it's not as apparent in this game. You're not going to notice it as much just because the maps aren't as big as Battlefield maps. The maps aren't, like, you're not shooting over longer distances. Like, for the most part, the wide open areas where there's lots of space on these maps... It's where the Titans go, and if you're using a sniper rifle, you're not using a Titan, you're using a pilot. So, if you're going to be engaging other pilots and stuff, you're not going to be shooting enemies like across the map. Like, you're not going to be completely cross-mapping people. For the most part, you're going to be shooting like from building to building. It's not going to be crazy long shots. So, most of the time, your bullets aren't going to drop crazy bad. Like, in Battlefield, you'll notice that after a certain distance you'll see the bullet actually fall out of the sky this game you're not going to see it as much just because you're not shooting as far a distance but there is bullet drop there so keep that in mind if you go to shoot an enemy that is at a that is at an extreme distance you'll have to aim above him just a little bit now the other thing that makes sniping in this game very very hard is bullet travel time and that is similar to bullet drop except i don't know it's, it's a little bit different so when you're shooting a bullet with say an assault rifle the bullets instantaneously just like transport themselves from the barrel of your gun to their target there is no travel time on weapons like that there's like you shoot the like the second you pull the trigger your bullets are impacting where you're pointing your gun and that makes those weapons very powerful with a sniper rifle and with other weapons in this game some launchers some special weapons there is travel time so when you fire a bullet it takes a couple seconds to get to its destination and that's the same with sniping when you snipe in this game you can actually see the bullet traveling through the air that means that it does have travel time so you're gonna have to lead your targets a little bit and that's what you see me struggling with in this gameplay because in call of duty and stuff like that snipers do not have travel time it's just like instantaneously like you shoot and your bullet hits the second you pull the trigger which isn't really realistic but when you get back into this game it's got travel time so you either have to shoot at enemies that are still or you have to shoot ahead of enemies that are moving so you kind of have to judge where your enemies are going to be and that's what's that's what's going to get you in sniping in this game because you have to because you have to kind of look ahead and you have to know where that guy's going and when people are like running back and forth and jumping all around and being idiots sliding and jumping and wall running it gets very difficult to hit enemies in this game with a sniper because they're just, you have no idea where they're going to go next because the movement is so free in this game. Somebody can just jump on a wall and take off or they could move behind cover or they could do anything. So you kind of have to really be aware of your surroundings. You really, you're really you really going to have to get used to all these maps and where all the cover is and where the best wall runs are and what people like to use for mantling and all that kind of stuff. So you can kind of assume where your enemies are going to be next so you can lead your enemies a little bit better and you can get those shots on target the one tip that i have for you guys for sniping in this game is to not snipe alone 
What I mean by that is don't not I don't necessarily mean bring a team along. I mean a team could definitely help to give you call outs and stuff of where the enemies are so that you can kind of get set up ahead of time so that when they do run out from cover or whatever you have your sights trained on them and you can get a shot on. That's not exactly what I mean, but that would help as well. What I mean by don't snipe alone, I mean like don't do the call of duty thing where you run around with a sniper and that's it. Don't don't just run around with a sniper rifle because you're not going to do as well. Don't use a sniper rifle and an anti-titan weapon. You're not going to do as well. Use a pistol. Use lethal equipment. Use like grenades and stuff and actually use them. Don't just take them and not use them. And don't just take a pistol and not use it. Actually use your pistol. It's going to save your life more than you know. I must get like at least five pistol kills in this game just because the re45 i think that's what it's called is just incredibly incredibly powerful and on that weapon there is no travel time so it's just when you get into an engagement where there's an enemy there you can just pull up the pistol and kind of go off on them and you don't have to worry about trying to get the, those close range snipes because they're harder to get in this game i get lucky a couple times it's got a nice little no scope there but apart from that it's pretty difficult to get your sniper kills at close range. This is a long range sniper game. You're supposed to stack up, get ready, get prepared, and kind of take your time, hard scope your ass off, and shoot at enemies at a long distance. When you get in closer, it's going to be harder because you have to prepare for that kind of bullet travel time, that bullet drop. You have to prepare for how long it's going to take you to aim down sights because it's not super quick in this game. I actually have some kind of mod on my sniper in this gameplay that's making me aim down sights a little bit faster, I believe. But it's pretty slow to aim down sights. It's pretty slow to fire and to pull the bolt, especially on this crabber's uh, sniper rifle. Maybe if they add in new other sniper rifles, it might be a little bit easier. I know the double take is a lot easier to use than the crabber, but this is more of a traditional sniper, so I decided to use it in this gameplay. But what I'm saying is, it's hard to use these snipers up close and personal. These are like traditional snipers you're supposed to stack up at the back of the map, take your time, aim down sights, and wait for your enemies to appear in front of you. So when you get into a closer range gunfight, you're going to have some trouble. Bring a pistol and just swap to your pistol. It's going to save your life more than you know. This is like my number one tip for sniping in this game. Do not think that you're the hero that can hit every snipe. You're not going to. Just take out your pistol, please. You're, you're going to have much better time sniping in this game with a pistol secondary. And if you're going to have a much better time in this game sniping, if you take in all the other tips that I gave you here today, just make sure that you're taking your time. Aim down your sights. Do not try and quick scope people and no scope people and all that stuff. This you just It's just really hard in this game. I'm sure there's going to be some crazy people that can do that when the game does come out. But for the most part, you guys aren't like phase members here. So just take your time. Snipe like a real sniper would in real life, and you're going to have a much better time sniping in this game. That is it for today's video, guys. I am going to be doing a supply drop opening video for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 a little bit later today, so stay tuned for that by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about the sniping in Titanfall 2. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.